I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, will Academy Award winners Anthony Hopkins and Helen Mirren be making a return trip to Oscar Center Stage come spring? My review of Hitchcock right now. On the heels of the superb HBO movie about Alfred Hitchcock and the making of The Birds, we get the theatrical release of a movie titled Hitchcock about the making of an even more legendary film, Psycho. Graphic elements of brutal violence, voyeurism, transvestitism, and incest. Very nice. Not your average run of the mill nutcase, is it, here? You're kidding. Hitchcock takes us back to a time when even the hint of nudity or a display of any kind of violence meant trouble with the censors. Anthony Hopkins transforms himself into the rotund, eccentric genius who's fighting to make Psycho a story no studio wanted to touch. Is this really going to be your next picture? Yes, madam. By the way, try the finger sandwiches. They're real fingers. In a dramatic conceit that works only occasionally, Hitch has imaginary conversations with Ed Gein. He's the real-life killer who inspired the Psycho story. Meanwhile, Helen Mirren's Alma Hitchcock is turning up the heat with Danny Houston's Whitfield. Let's drive up to Santa Barbara. We'll have Emilio fry those juicy steaks that we love so much at El Encanto. Mr. Hitchcock, we're ready for you on set. Scarlett Johansson plays Janet Lee and Jessica Biel is Vera Miles. They're young actresses enduring Hitch's leering and his sometimes cruel behavior. They're both quite good in limited roles. Well, I'm an actress, of course, but I'm first a wife and a mother. And I'm just curious to know, um, how are you going to shoot this shower scene? Filled with lots of style and a macabre sense of humor the master himself would have enjoyed, Hitchcock is a bit more forgiving of its title subject than a lot of books and the previous cable movie about him. It goes a little too soft at times. But Mirren and Hopkins each have virtuoso scenes. Mirren's is pure monologue, while Hopkins shines brightest in a scene with almost no dialogue. They both deliver nomination-worthy performances in a film that perfectly captures the tenor of Hollywood some 60 years ago. You are intrigued, aren't you? Killing off your leading lady halfway through the movie. You shouldn't wait till halfway through. Kill her off after 30 minutes. Wow. I give Hitchcock a B+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels.